that little circle needs to go over the point M. It needs to go over your midpoint. My perspective is slightly different, but see that line, that one long line up there with your perspective, that should be right on your segment AB. And the, the hole should be on point M. So the question is, what is the measure of this angle? So see where, see where your line hits, where does it where does the line hit on the circle on M. Some of you aren't even touching protractors. Put the hole on point M. It makes a 90 degree angle. It makes a 90 degree angle. Um, so that is a new conclusion that we've got here. The statement that we need to fill in, a line through the center of a circle Bisects a chord. What does it mean to bisect something? Cuts it in half. It cuts it into two equal pieces. You can bisect an angle. You can bisect a segment. It cuts it into two equal pieces. So the a line through the center of a circle bisects a chord. A B. There's a chord. If and only if the line is perpendicular to the chord. Okay. So that is a new um, concept. Oops that we need to be able to use. Okay, there's a 90 degree angle right here. And we're going to use that to solve some problems here in a second. Let's look at number four there. Suppose a given circle has a radius of six inches. What is the length of a cord that has a central angle of 115 degrees. So on your paper there, <clears throat> you can draw it however you want to. This is my 115 degree angle. Okay, but the center is, I'm pretty sure the center is marked, right? Yeah, the center is marked in your circle. Okay, you need to, I would suggest picking a point um, A. Okay, pick a point A. And then to draw a 115 degree angle, what you need to do is you need to put both sides on the center, make sure that this horizontal line is meeting up with your segment that you want to draw on, and then find a 115 degree angle over here when you can draw the other part of your circle. Okay, I can help you with that if you need it. So, just get, get your best estimate, okay? It's not super important that you get this precise because obviously our picture does not have a radius of six inches, okay? I just want you to have a general idea of how to use a protractor. Okay, so six inch radius, that means that OA and OB are both six inches. It says, what is the length of a cord? So it's talking about the cord AB. We want to know that length um, when it has a central angle of 115 degrees. So that was the angle we just drew. Some of your pictures look a little bit different than mine. That is fine. Okay, but we are trying to find the length of that cord. <clears throat> well, right now we're we're stuck. We don't really have a way of solving. Right now, this is not a right triangle. We don't have a way of figuring out that length. But if we use the property that we just learned, that we can um, draw a line here that goes through the center of our circle, and if it is perpendicular to that cord. It's going to cut that cord into two equal pieces. Well, what is it also going to cut into two equal pieces? That central angle, right? So half of 115 is 115 divided by 2, I think 57.5. So I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to redraw the triangle so I can just focus on what I need to focus on. Right angle, here's A, here's O, this is 57.5, and this is 6. <clears throat> okay, so I just isolated half of that triangle there. I looked at the right triangle portion of it. I could also look at the right side of it. I just, I don't know, I favor the left side of it because that's what I come to first. Okay, we are trying to figure out the length of AB. Well, we don't have AB on this diagram. We've got half of AB. 
So in this right triangle, 6 is the hypotenuse, right? Because it's across from the 90 degree angle. Well, the side that we're trying to find is opposite of the angle that we have right here. We have an angle of 57.5 degrees. So what we're looking for is opposite of that. So which trig function is opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So Kotoa. Okay, so sine of the angle, 57.5, is equal to the opposite, that's what we don't know, over the hypotenuse. This is the easy one to solve. Remember, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. Mine resets every time. Yours shouldn't reset every time unless someone has reset it. This is the easy one. You just multiply by 6. Sine of 57.5. 6 sine of 57.5. I'm sorry? Are you good? Okay. So 5.06 is approximately the side of that right triangle, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the length of the chord. So that was half of the chord. So let's multiply it by 2. So the whole chord is approximately um, AB. Measure of segment AB is approximately 10.12 inches because we were given units. So anytime we're given units, we need to include our units. Okay. So we'll do it another way. This question is going to be phrased. Part B. What is the measure? Of the arc, bless you, measure of the arc of a chord that is 8 inches long. Okay, so it's 8 inches long. So, um, you can't really draw your picture super accurately. You're just going to have to draw a sketch because you don't know the exact uh, measure and whatnot here. So, we'll just suppose I drew a very similar picture. Okay, the radius is still 6 inches. The radius is still 6 inches, um, but this time they don't tell us the angle. They tell us the chord is 8 inches long, and they want to know the measure of the arc. So we're going to have to figure out the angle this time. Well, we're still using that property that if we draw a line through the center of the circle, it's going to cut that chord in half, it's going to cut this angle in half, and it's going to create a right angle. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last one. I'm going to change my picture here. I'm going to isolate the triangle for a second. Here's A, here's O, the center of the circle. This is 6. What would be that side length on the top? Four. Because the chord is eight, we cut it in half using that bisector, so it's four. The question this time, though, is what's the measure of this angle? What's the measure of this central angle? <clears throat> so I've got part of that angle right here. I've got half of it. I'm going to label it theta. We use Greek letters a lot of times to measure, uh, to label angles. So we have the same sides that we had last time, but this time we know both the sides. We don't know the angle. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all talked about this before, but how to solve for an angle. <clears throat> Excuse me. We use the inverse trig function. Okay, you use the inverse trig function. So on your calculator, you press second sign. Of 4 over 6 and that will give you the angle so it is approximately 4.81 degrees <clears throat> but that wasn't the question that they're asking they're asking for the measure of the arc that's only half of it that's only half of it so we have to multiply this one by 2 as well so the measure of the arc is 
is a measure of, we're going to call it RKB, is approximately, and I forgot what I said, 83.62. Okay, so Okay, we've got another question going along with this one. It says, what is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the chord? So that's talking about this distance right here from the center of the circle to the chord. What is that distance? Well, that is the third side of our triangle, isn't it? So what can we use to find that side length? The Pythagorean theorem. Okay, we want to know the distance. The other leg is 4. The hypotenuse is 6. So we've got p squared plus 16 is equal to 36. So d squared is equal to 20. Take the square root. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and find out what its exact measure is. Square root of 20, I know it's somewhere between 4 and 5. 4.47. Approximately 4.47 inches. Alright, let's look at one more phrasing of this question. The radius is still six. Okay, that has not changed. The radius is still six inches. This time, they tell us the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to a chord is four inches. So it's close to the problem that we just had, but ours was a little bit greater than that. What is the length of the chord? So let's start again. Let's isolate that triangle. We've got four. We've got six. Let's find that side length. Uh, 36 is equal to 16 plus, we'll call it x squared. Well, that's the exact answer we just got. So approximately 4.47, but that's not the length of the chord. That's only half the chord. That's the length of that side of the triangle. So multiply by 2. 8.94. We'll call it AB. What is the measure of its central angle? So we've got to find that angle again. <clears throat> Let's go back to the triangle. Now, this time we're not going to use sine. Why not? Because we don't have the opposite side. Well, we did just find the opposite side. But just in case we made a mistake with that, I would rather uh, go with what I know. This time we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So that is cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent 4 over the hypotenuse 6. Okay, to solve for the angle, you do the inverse cosine of 4 over 6. And you get 48.19. But is that the central angle? No, it's only half of it. So we multiply it by 2. 86.28. Ninety-six point three eight. Why did I say eighty-six? Ninety-six point three eight. 